Woo wee. Hey man. Well, good evening, folks. This is Richard Jean, the fishing machine here. Now I'm gonna say this. This video, I don't even like to call them videos. This this fishing trip was shot a few days prior, and uh, this fishing trip right here was a hard one. Definitely a hard one. It was the same day that the front moved in and caused a lot of damage in the United States. Uh, went through Texas, Oklahoma, probably hit the worst. It was just a bad, bad situation. Uh, that day, the temperature dropped very quickly, very quickly. And I decided to fish with shiners. Just gambled that I might catch a few fish, and we did. And the only reason... We're going to show this video is because um, when it comes to artificial baits, which I love to throw a frog, I never have on this format, but we will. 55 degree uh, surface temps is about as cold as you're going to get a strike on a frog. They won't hardly come up on an artificial uh, much colder than that. On the average, and I'm talking about here in the south, um, they'll give you one chance. You're either going to catch him or you're not. And um, um, I'm going to talk about fishing in a uh, mill full hydrilla, thick cover like that, just typical frog fishing. They'll either blow a hole behind it or they'll get the bait. It just depends on how accurate they are um, with their strike and how aggressive they are. But with shiners, uh, live bait such as shiners, shad, it contradicts everything um, about that subject, about a bass coming up and surfacing. The lowest water temperature that I've ever caught a bass where a bass actually come up and surfaced uh, on a bait was 41 degrees. Okay, 41 degrees. I had a big fish years ago come up and eat a shiner off top. Um, this is sort of the same situation. Very cold, frigid weather. Fishing with artificials versus live bait is what this is about. Uh, there's no comparison. A bass simply won't quit until he gets that shiner nine times out of ten. In fact, I've had as many as six or seven strikes from one bass before he finally keyed in on the bait enough to, to, to actually grab and commit. Uh, I hope I explained that good enough. I'm not trying to bust any myth about that, but it's certainly the truth. Hope y'all enjoy the video. There you go. Oh, he missed that shiner. Huh. Oh, gone they're missing shiners today. Or this morning, excuse me, folks, can't talk. He just plum missed it. The water is so cold, their aim is off this morning. And that happens a lot. He's still after him right there. Y'all see that? I can't tell. There we go. Did he get him? <laughs> God, they're missing. That happens a lot when you shine or fishing. Sometimes their aim is off. The first strike I had right here looked like a good fish. And the other two, or three, there we go. He might have got him that time. I don't know. Nope. That beats all I ever seen. The. Yeah, he got him that time. I believe. My goodness. All right, he got him that time. All right, let's see what we got. There we go. I had to get him, horse him out of that tree. He's a lot bigger than I thought he was. When I set the hook, he just come straight to me. Matter of fact, it's a good fish. Doggone good fish. 
It's so early. I hope y'all can see this. Ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. I'm up here on my spot right here. There's a big tree in the water right here. That's a good bass. Busted my balloon. Okay, come on in here, boy. Yeah, when I set the hook, he comes straight to me. Oh, red lips. Bass. That ain't too bad right there. I'm going to say it's going to be a good day. I don't like getting out here this early in the morning, to be honest with you. I like for the sun to come up just a little bit. When I'm shiner fishing in the wintertime, look at there. Whew, it's cold this morning. That's a good fish right there. Look at his lips. That's how cold that when water gets cold, their lips, well, y'all know, turns that red right there around the rim. That's a good fish to start off with. Now, <clears throat> these fish are missing these shiners this morning. And uh, I hope I'm not going to have a hard day. But still, stay with me, folks. One never knows about the sport of fishing. Woo! All right, gal. Let's get her back right here in that cold water. I tell you, I had a hard time right there catching that fish. There she goes. Boy, that water's clear. Whoa. I'm talking about, whoa, there's birds right there. They're black birds. They went into the tree. And there's a pecker wood right over yonder. Whoa! All right, folks. Let's hook this shiner up. Now, I like to open their mouth, hook them right in the nostril, just like that right there I'm, and oh by the way let me show you a lot of things is happening right now that other fish my balloon busted so i had to re-rig right here but i got a white balloon on right here i don't know why i told y'all that but it's starting to rain the weatherman said it was going to come in about one o'clock here it is early in the morning and it started to rain so we had to put us a raincoat on i hope y'all got you one on this is a, a rod that I bought the other day. This is, a, and Jimmy didn't give it to me. This is, I bought it. It's a Jimmy Houston Venom Pro DX. And I like this right here. Ain't that cool? Life is good today. It's a medium heavy rod, six and a half foot long. And I went rod hunting because I broke one of my good ones. Uh, stepped on it here in the boat and popped it. So I needed another rod. Now, this rod right here is suitable for shiners. Uh, it's it's suitable, suitable, excuse me, for spinner bait, buzz bait, all kinds of stuff. So that's why I bought it. It's just an all-around rod and light as a feather. Not advertising a rod, but this is the lightest rod I could find. When you pick it up, it's just like a feather in your hand. Balanced. And that's what you want right there. This is a cadence reel with a seven three and one gear ratio and i have it loaded with 14 pound test uh red cajun line and i have a two alt hook no that's a three alt hook excuse me let's lob this shiner out here now what i'm doing is i'm just fishing points right now i'm jumping around fishing points now, I'm fishing these shiners a lot slower than y'all might think. I don't want to cast them too much. Okay, I don't think too much is going on right there. And I just lob them like this. Put my thumb on the spool just before the shiner hits. And that takes a little impact off of him. He's on the top. There's a fish. Y'all see him? Dang, he missed it. He's after him right now, though. 
and I couldn't really tell how big that fish was. It's hard to to figure that part of it out. Especially in cold water, it, it'll fool you. Look at him, he is all after him. Now I'm holding him off the bank because that shiner's trying to get to the bank right now, but there's a fish behind him. Look here, he's got him. I'm gonna get right here at the back of the boat right here. That float is down, folks. I don't know how big this fish is. I'm gonna let him run with it. All right, let's see what we got. There he is. I got a good hook set. I like this rod right here. It ain't a very big one at all. I didn't think he was, but it's hard to tell. They'll just come up there and slurp that bait. That shiner, excuse me. Let me get him around right here. Small fish for a shiner. Looks like a large mouth. Yep. Look at there. Ain't that pretty in that clear water. <laughs> He's gonna take off again. Got him in a good place right there. It ain't gonna hurt him. Look at there. It's pretty. It ain't what I'm after. Y'all know what I'm after. I'm after a mohawk. Mohawk you can handle. Pretty good little fish. Ain't too bad. Let's let him go. Go on back. Hey, Burl! That old man done been up and down that road two or three times. And he'll just stare over here and he'll throw his old hand up. I done waved at him. I done waved at him twice today. That's enough. I wish he'd go on. He's a nosy old guy. He is nosy. I'm just letting him swim, being patient. I'm watching that balloon. I can tell if there's a fish looking at him. That balloon is just a plus. It just is. It keeps your shiner from tiring out real quick. Um, a lot better than a float, I tell you. Whoa here, whoa, whoa, whoa. Y'all see that floats under, folks. I've been messing with this fish for a while, by the way. I'm trying to get him to commit in this clear water. All right, he's had it long enough, y'all ready? I can't tell how big he is. Not at all. I don't think he's big at all. Dang on it. I messed with this fish right here for about 30 minutes. He's pulling though. There he is. Come on in here. My goodness. For about 30 minutes out here in this rain. Of course it's lightened up a whole lot. I finally got that bass. But still, it was a lot of fun catching him, but I spent 30 minutes on that bass right there. Maybe they'll perk up right here. But let's let him go. There he goes. Whoa. Yeah, at least I caught one. Whoa. Whoa. Look at the little dogs. Look at the muddy little dogs. Whoa. Whoa. Every day that we live is a blessed day. By the grace of God, I want to say thank y'all very much for all the great comments, all that y'all do for this channel, and hey, oh, God, hey, man, whoa, whoa, hey, 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 whoa, 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 and remember, 
Go fish and wiggy can, but I call this uh, furry.